It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be... Oh, and a penalty has been awarded. Big moment here. Can they get themselves ahead? Well, no cards handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball. So penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. This to open the scoring here. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. And so the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Portugal here? There needs to be. Oh, this is looking promising. Takes it on. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So underway again here on the back of that. Bruno Fernandes. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. And scope for them to produce something exciting. No way through. A chance now with the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And Bernardo Silva has it. Sloppy in possession from Brazil. Ronaldo. Oh, a good diving save. He's driven in the corner. Struggling to get it away. Ronaldo Silva. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Not all that convincing defensively. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Neymar, oh, what an opportunity. Oh, it's in to give them the lead in the final. The stuff that dreams are made of. So the ball is rolling again. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And great work to confuse the defender. This could level it. Oh, he's missed it. He'll be kicking himself. Well, the opportunity presented itself, and they really should be level. They have to be more composed, more clinical, if they want to get back into this.
Well, the ball is moving again. And work to do for Portugal in this second half. Ronaldo. He's got to have a go here. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. And over it comes. Oh, the overhead kick! Pure athleticism! Wonderful goal! Well, just look at this piece of skill. He times this absolutely perfectly. Great connection as well. We'll see this for years to come. Fantastic goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of it. Guerrero. On to Ronaldo. He's in here. Oh, it's a goal! A celebratory moment as they jump in front. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. On with the game then. 3-2. What will happen next? Ten minutes to go. Oh, big chance! They had to react, and did. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And over comes the corner. Well, let's give him credit for trying it. But the execution left a bit to be desired, Stuart. Well, I think the idea was right. Unfortunately, the skill wasn't. It's well off target in the end. And the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Bruno Fernandes. This could finish it. A goal! And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And Ronaldo wasn't going to miss this one. From that range, he was always going to score. What a well constructed goal. So the current scoreline 4 2. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.